iPod video, a great classic piece of Apple history and audio technology with one major weakness, the spinning hard disk inside. I love this thing. It feels good in the hand. It feels nice to use. It's relatively simple, but that hard disk has got to go. It slows down the operation of the, of the device somewhat, and, well, if it fails, replacing it's going to be expensive. Not to mention, it's limited in storage capacity. 30 gigabytes is not enough now. But one thing is that there are companies that have actually made boards where you can use things like SD cards or compact flash cards in the iPod as opposed to a rotating hard disk. Well, that's what I'm going to do to this thing. First, we have to get in this thing there. Second, we have to put these four SD cards into this board and get this board inside there, like that. And now, we have to restore it. Ah, uh, time to download iTunes, actually. I'll tell you more about that later. But here it is, it's finished. And time to listen to some music. I now have approximately four times the disc capacity of a stock iPod video. And with the added rock box from where I now have more flexibility. I used the Windows version of iTunes because I needed this to be FAT32 to work with Rockbox, but all the music syncing can happen from the Mac version of iTunes. It works the same, and with the database functionality in Rockbox, it's like I'm using iTunes to sync to Rockbox. But the biggest thing with Rockbox is that I have more flexibility in how I listen to the music in terms of tweaking the sound and stuff like that to just be an overall more pleasant experience. But this thing should last me for a good number of years and with the parts like batteries and stuff being able to be found still, I should be able to keep this thing going for a good bit of the lifetime of the, a good bit of the usable lifetime of the cards that are inside here. Well, thanks for joining me on this journey. I'll see you next time.